hello everybody welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to set up umami so umami is an open source free and self-hosted alternative to google analytics now this is the analytics for their main website so uh, umami.is is their main website and they have a demo of how the analytics look like so right where as you can see the last 24 hours there, there are 3000 views and 400 visitors um, and so you can see more like the pages visited so slash docs slash about and you know all these things how many visits so how many views came to which page and which were the referrers and then the operating systems the web browsers the devices and the countries so this is also really nice uh, representation of the analytics so this is what we are going to set up for my website you can set up for your own website this is my website that I recently just uh, rebuilt and I want to set up analytics for this site so how many people visit this and all that stuff now to set it up basically you have to self host it it's not hosted anywhere so you know you can add your site just like Google Analytics no it's self hosted so you have to host it yourself so that you are in control of all this and you can even change the source code if you want because it's open source this is their website umami is free uh, open source on your website analytics simple fast you can click on learn more and that will open up their docs now you can check out their docs if you want i'll leave the link in the description below but we are quickly going to set it up so right over here there are a lot of options to host it you can go ahead and host it on any platform you want but i personally liked railway because you know you can even host it on netlify or cell but then you don't have the database so because it is self-hosted it also needs a database of its own so it uses mysql and postgres you can choose whatever you want so we can go ahead and deploy it running on railway you can click on that so you have two options here either you can click on the deploy on railway button to basically deploy it and then follow these steps right over here uh, but I would like to try the second option here to fork the repository so if you look here's the umami repository and here's all the code for the analytics of umami so right over here you can go ahead and read their uh, readme but let's just begin working on it so first of all if we follow the documentation it says running railway on a running on railway from a fork repository so we'll fork the umami repository first so we'll fork it on github so that's going to create our own repository you know with description and all that so let's create a fork and simply while it's doing this so create an account on railway connected to github that i've already done that you have to also do that and if you wish you can give railway permission only for uh, to your umami fork repository so you can also do that if you want so our repository is forked it's still forking so it's done now i have my own version of umami and the benefit of this is whenever i want to you know whenever umami gets updated i can simply go ahead and fetch upstream you know fetch and merge so you know whatever the update comes in i can directly get that uh, through umami so once that is done then we have to create a new project let's do that on railway we can create a new project and then you can go ahead and say deploy from github repository you can also deploy a starter if you want and all these things but i'll go ahead and deploy from repo that is umami this one and yes adding variables so you have to add variables first of all hash salt this is the uh, one that we need and this is basically just a random string that you need so let's add variables all right so i clicked on add variables and it took me right over here after you know it created the project now the new variable we have to name it hash underscore salt so let's copy this go back and put it now the value can be anything you know any random string so i'm gonna go ahead and generate a random string real quick then you can hit add now it's added so that you have your hash salt once that is done you can add the second environment variable which is the port so we can go ahead and add that and set it to you know a valid port number we'll go we are going to set it on port 3000 so let's do that port 3000 and hit add once these are added you can go to deployments and this project has no deploys so now we can add our database so add post as uh, postgresql plugin that's what you have to do so we can go ahead and let's go into let's close this one so in our project you can click new and you know you can add database so add postgresql it's going to spin up postgresql 
let's see how that goes all right let's close this tab so now let's go ahead and create the tables for our database so let's go over here uh right over here create database tables now once you've deployed your project clone it locally using git so we have to do that locally so let's go ahead and clone our project locally so this is our project we can go ahead and copy the link so right over here i'm just going to say git clone and then clone this repository once it's cloned you don't have to do anything like npm install or that you can just cd into umami now once you are in the umami folder what you have to do is you have to use the railway cli now it's fairly simple you can simply install their cli or command line interface uh, using npm or brew or whichever tool you want i used npm to globally install the railway cli and once that is done you have to log in so you can run the railway login command to log yourself in once you're logged in what you have to do you have to go ahead and run the railway link command to link your project to the cloud project that you have so you have to select your project my project is questionable cart that's what it's named and the environment is production once railway is linked to your project we can go ahead and run this command to create the tables on right over here on our railway postgres and paste it so you have to change some things here first of all you have to add the host name username and database name that's all you have to change so we can go back right over here on railway and we can go to connect where we have all these things so this is the host name so let's go ahead and copy this the host name is going to be this we can go ahead and change this this host name to this and then the username by default the username will be postgres and the database name will be railway all right and then you know this is going to be the path to the sql query it's going to run hit enter it's going to drop the tables that you have currently and it's going to create new tables create new indexes and all that is good so let's go back to railway and if i go ahead and go to data these are the new tables created now we also have to deploy this so you can quickly do that right from the cli so i can just go ahead and say railway up to deploy this to production and this is just going to work on the cli laying tracks in the clouds you can go back right over here on the umami now this is the deploy that i had earlier now i removed it and you can view the logs which will be basically the logs for this app right over here the umami that you forked all right so it is deployed now if i go ahead and visit this url right over here this is the url to your umami instance the pass the username and password by default is admin and uh, umami is the password so you can log in and let's go ahead and check this out so this is how it looks like let me switch to dark mode the first thing that they recommend doing is to change the password so make sure you change the password then adding the website and all that so we can go ahead and change the password let's go into settings and uh instead of settings let's go ahead and go to profile and the password let's go to accounts and let's edit this admin password so so let's change this password let me set my own password and you can set your own now once the admin password is changed we can go ahead and add a website so you can add your own websites i want to add my own website so i can go ahead and copy the address for the website osman-s.me so to add a website you can go ahead and add a website the domain is going to be this one and then you can add the name so the name is going to be let's say osman's site all right as simple as that you can enable a share url so that you can share to other people they can view this these analytics uh you know to prevent login and all that stuff but i'm going to deselect that and you can hit save once this site is created you also have to you know add uh tracking so you can get the tracking code now this is the tracking code right over here you just have to add this script tag to your code and that's it let's copy this and let me get to my code so this is my website's code i can uh, go ahead to source let me just go to source layout and link meta so i have the head tag right over here now this is next.js and this is how you can add it in next.js simply go ahead and add it right over here so script async defer data website uh, now defer is going to defer it and the data website id is going to be this one the source is going to be this one and let's hit save in this case once the file is saved you can go ahead and push it to your github account now this is a different one so let me so let me push this to my website added analytics let's say added umami analytics 
now once everything from your end is done you can go ahead and visit this website so your own website now let me refresh this and when i reload nothing really changes but you will notice that if i go to inspect and let's go into right inside of elements you'll see in the head tag there will be a request to this one so you see refer data website id and source and if i go to you know network tab and if i refresh once you'll see that there will be the request to umami.js now once you know umami handles it it will handle it you can go to your own instance and you can go to dashboard where you see one views that means one view that comes from me and if you want more so you can go to view details and inside of view details you know you got a lot of more stuff like the pages the visited refers well nothing right over here as chromium is the first one so that's how you set up free and self-hosted and open source analytics there are any other options but this one is really easy to set up and you know it takes very less time to do now i hope this video helped you out please like it share it with others and let me know in the comments below how was the experience for you to set up umami finally thanks for watching